Hi, my name is Henry, I'm a Splendid Technician. I'm going to show you how to build an RT36P or RT36PS. We have a stainless version here. The tools you're going to need is a pair of pliers, 716 sockets on a ratchet and a 716 spanner. First, you uh, open up the tool pack and lay out all your bolts. And then you put the impeller on the gearbox, locating it all the way down onto the coin. gearbox and spin it in position, I'm going to make sure the arrow on the gearbox is lining up with the Rigby Taylor logo. And now I'm going to use my two two and a quarter inch bolts to put through the lower handle. Just snug. They don't have to be too tight, so just tighten it like that. Now, I'm going to put the frame foot in. So the two holes line up. Now, align the lower frame braces with the uh, holes on the frame itself. And then Now you've got the wheels on, you need to place the longest split pin on the drive side which goes on the inside of the wheel. Then use your pliers, hold the split pin and rotate the tyre. So you've got a bend in it so the split pin can't come back out. Then on the free wheeling side, Through the axle, same thing with the pliers. Yeah. Now flip the spreader over to put on the upper handles. Take the upper handles and 
them do the nuts on the lower pivot bracket. So you can Remember how this goes. Put on your lower pivot bracket. And then put nuts on the bolts on the other side. Now tighten all the uh, fasteners on the upper handle, like the snap. Now put the control rod on the gauge lever assembly. Remember to put the first non nylock nut on first. And then secure that we're going to pull out the second one. Then using the control rod, put in to the shot of the tray underneath. Put in your lower control rod, make sure the sleeve is pointing towards the handlebar. Locate that into the hole, and with a little bit of force push it in, and then snap the plastic holder onto the control rod. And then locate this one, this side, on to the pivot bracket, and then the same principle. Lock that in, and then your lower control rod's secure. To set up your spreader correctly, go to the manual which says ensure your spreader is properly calibrated. To do this, make sure your lever is fully closed and adjust the 7 16 nuts on the control rod until you have it when it is fully open the holes fully open and then when it's closed you cannot see any light through the shut off tray and it should operate very smoothly lastly put your agitator in, the hopper put it through the little eye and then make sure 
that your agitator isn't going to hit your tray. If it does, just get your finger underneath, bend it up a tiny bit until it clears. And then go through your spreader and make sure all nuts and bolts are tight and then you're ready to use your spreader. And put in your tray as well. Now you have a completed RT36PS spreader.